Hey everyone, so today I'm going to do sort of a first impression, I'll explain soon, on this Makeup Sealing Spray by Catherine H. I was sent this and I agreed to do a first impression for you guys because even I am very, very interested to see how it really works. The reason I say it's kind of a first impression is because I have sprayed it on my face before but I haven't actually like worn it all day, I haven't you know, tested how it holds my makeup in place. I haven't done any kind of comparisons or anything. So today I'm putting it to the test and I'm gonna do like half my face using this and half my face not. And then we're gonna check back throughout the day um, and see how well each side holds up and see if it really does make a big difference. So this is made in New Zealand and it is a sealing spray. So it's supposed to help your makeup last a really long time. It says it's waterproof, doesn't contain any parabens, each bottle has over 400 sprays, doesn't clog your pores, doesn't interfere or reduce effectiveness of SPF, absorbs excess oil, is fast drying, doesn't leave a sticky residue, smells amazing, and absolutely no Catherine Age products are tested on animals. Alright, so basically, I am just going to spray it on half my face. How am I going to do this? I think I might need like a towel or something. I'm going to use a pink tea towel. So I think I will do... What side will I do? I think I'll do this side um, with the sealing spray. And I have nothing on my skin right now except for a tiny bit of jojoba oil that I put on after I washed my face. So it smells pretty good. It's got like a little fragrance in it. It's drying quite quickly. It doesn't feel sticky at all. It feels a little bit tight on the skin, like it's tightening up my skin. Not in a really uncomfortable way, however if you did have like super dry skin it might be a little bit too much. But for oily skin I can imagine this being amazing. Obviously I can't tell you much yet so I'm going to do my makeup, we'll come back and spray another spray on the side of my face and then I'll check back throughout the day. By the way the amount I just put on half my face could have definitely done my whole face because it went all over the towel as well. So pretty much I would have done four sprays for my entire face. Hey guys I'm back. So I finished my makeup, it is 11 o'clock and we are going to use some more sealant spray since we've just finished our makeup and then we'll come back later and see how it's lasting. So this side is the side with nothing and this side's the one with the sealant spray. By the way, I have to say, you know how I said it felt kind of tightening? It kind of goes away after like 5 or 10 minutes. I didn't notice it until I just resprayed it. And it's dry. Okay, so that is that. By the way, I um, filmed this makeup look, so let me know if you want to see it or not. As I said, it is now 11 a.m. Um, I'll come back in a few hours and we'll see how it's going. And I'm going to try and wear it for at least 10 hours. Hey everyone, so I thought I would come back and update you quickly. It is now half past two in the afternoon, and I haven't really had a look, so here we go. Okay, so both sides look fairly similar so far. Um, a little bit of my foundation has faded just up here on my forehead and a tiny bit on my cheeks. I can see a little bit of my natural redness peeking through on this side at least. This side looks pretty good. There's a little tiny bit of fading but nothing crazy. Um, there's no oiliness on my face although there never really normally is. I would like to say that it didn't change like the finish of my makeup. It kept my highlighty... highlighty what? <laughs> it kept my highlighter highlighted. And the rest of my face is fairly matte, it didn't change that at all, so that is a good bonus. I will continue to wear my makeup throughout the day, um, and we'll see how we go. Okay guys, it is now 10pm, it's been on for a very, very, very long time, and I cannot wait to jump in the shower after this video and just like scrub it off. I haven't actually looked at myself in the mirror, so this is like, first time. Alright, so straight away you can definitely tell that this side has worn off a lot more than this side. I'm not sure if you can see on camera, I hope you can. So you can basically just see like a lot of my natural skin on this side. And again, like I said earlier, I'm not using any primer, I just use setting spray on this half of my face. So I will let the results speak for themselves. There's still a little bit of fading. But it's nothing that worries me. I have to say I was hanging out with my friends tonight and I was like crying of laughter. If you follow me on Facebook you might have seen me post a funny cat video. <laughs> Basically this guy is like doing like a like grind on the floor and the cat jumps on his ass. And then he does like this grind thing and the cat like bounces off his butt and just flies in the air. It's really really funny. I'll find the link and put it down below if you want to have a good laugh. Anyway I was in tears. 
um, and there's no little lines. Sometimes when I cry, <laughs> this sounds so like emo. Sometimes when I cry, um, it'll leave like a trail in my foundation, but it didn't leave one at all on that side. The spray says it is waterproof, so I kind of feel like just dripping some water on my face. <laughs> what a waste. <laughs> It's taking a bit of tissue and we're going to see if it transfers off now that my face is literally dripping wet. So some of my mascara came off but none of my foundation did. The tiniest little bit came off my forehead but I don't know, it seems quite cool. Obviously you can't just expect to spray a little bit of this on your face and then go swimming in it to stay perfect like it's just not going to happen with anything but yeah overall I am pleased with it it made my makeup stay so much more than this side this side just completely faded off this side still doesn't look perfect like I could still do with a touch up but the difference is definitely there so I guess I'll just let you guys decide on the results for yourself um, I'll put a link to the product down below if you are interested in giving it a go I think it would be ideal for people with normal to oily skin just because it's not a hydrating formula at all um, it is just really quite tight and it makes your makeup really feel like it's on there and stuck down. It doesn't feel, you know, like hydrating or wet or anything like that. So if you prefer your makeup to really be like stuck down and like have it stay and last, this will be good. Whereas if you like a bit of moisture and you like you know, hydrating mists and things like that, you might want to try something different. Lately I have been doing a little bit more matte on my skin and then been using a bit of highlighter on the top of my cheekbones. So I feel like when I do do matte skin, this will be the one I reach for rather than my other ones. So that is my opinion on the Catherine H. So yeah, have you guys ever tried this? If you have, let me know what you think. Since this is made in New Zealand, a lot of my friends have tried this and a lot of them love it. So I've been really looking forward to trying it out, so there you go. I'll continue to use it and update you guys with my thoughts later on as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope it was helpful. It's my first time doing a setting spray first impression, so let me know if there's anything I can improve on. Um, and other than that, I'll talk to you soon. Bye! I'm just back for one second. I put down my brightness, I just realised I was filming with quite a bright light and you can definitely see the difference a lot better. My mascara smudged from all that like water down my face. But my foundation stayed pretty good. So there is the set side and here is the not set side. So you can see the difference. Have a great day. I am going to do it thicker. And I'm doing a wing as well just like Kylie Jenner sometimes likes to wear. Um, and then yeah you just want to make sure that it's really thin on the inner corner. And it gets thicker at about halfway across your eye. Then I'm going to take a flesh tone eyeliner and put that in my waterline just to brighten up my eyes and add mascara and all of that. If you ever mess up 